Yesterday, on the first day of Black History Month, some fans got upset with Lunell after she would post an advertisement for a workshop that supported outreach counseling groups for the LGBTQ plus youth. After seeing all the negative comments, Lunell took to Instagram, where she would address everyone who had unfavorable things to say about what she posted. Lunell's defense was that she was going to post whatever she wants on her page. Some took issue with the post for different reasons, one being some of her black followers feeling that black agendas often get overshadowed by the LGBTQ plus initiatives. First of all, I put whatever the f I want to on my mother page, whether it's Kelvin Hunter or whether it's mother gay and lesbian counseling, whatever the f I want to put on my page, I put on my page. Number two, do you know how many kids commit mother suicide a year because of y'all's bitch ass judgmental hypocritic motherfucking asses i wouldn't pick gayness on any child for the bullshit that they have to go through with people like some of you mother if that's the way they feel they were born that is their life it's not yours and i'm so disappointed in my people my people that i share my breakfast with that i share my life with that i share my feelings with coming on my mother page being shitty and judgmental because I put up something to support the mental health of gay, lesbian, and trans youth. Today on the show, we've got our comedy hype analyst, Rita Brent, Capone, and Pierre to talk about if Lunell's reaction was valid and does the LGBTQ plus agenda get more support than the black agenda? So Pierre, I want to start with you as I know you do have a relationship with Lunell. When you saw this video, what was your first reaction? Woo! Woo! <laughs> there was a lot. There was a lot going on in that video. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Um, I agree with a lot that she said. Um, I understand how she feels about people being hypocritical. You know, especially you know, you know, Bible toting people when it comes to this this subject matter. Um, one thing I think she has to realize: this is social media, baby. I mean, you know, if you put stuff out there, people are going to critique it. It ain't going to be always your way. You know, you have a page and you have followers. And I know she knows that. And they say lovely things to her. And they love her and, and big her up. And she enjoys that. Every once in a while, somebody's going to say something that you ain't going to like. Trust me. I know. I read some of these comments. And after this, I'll be reading some of these comments here, too. So with that being said, um, she just has to understand, hey, people are going to come on your page. You have an open page. They're going to speak their mind. Sure, you might not like what they say, but they're going to say it. Now, if you're thinking that you're just saying, hey, if I have a page, as long as you say good stuff to me on my page, then we good? Well, welcome to show business. Welcome to this internet. It ain't going to go down like that all the time. Now, Capone, I want to come to you, and I actually want to propose a different question. So <laughs> do you feel that the LGBTQ plus community, gets, that agenda gets pushed more than the black agenda? And I actually want to read a comment first that was, in Lunell's, um, that, that post that she made. So a user said, the problem people are having is too many black celebrities are always jumping on this gay agenda, but won't support anything black related. Rather it's reparations, better schools, or speaking out on injustices that's not related to a political party. I don't care who's gay, but it seems every black celebrity is championing this and not a black agenda. Uh, wow. I, I, I can agree with that, you know. Um... I'm not gay, but I've seen how strong black gay people stood together for the rights of gay rights. And they haven't really, I'm not saying that they don't, but if we had that type of power as just being black people as a whole with that same type of power, I think we would get a lot further. You know, I, I'm, I don't know what it's like to be gay. So whatever they went through or whatever they were going through at the time, and they fought for it and they got the right to be married. They got all of these different rights. And us as just black people as a whole, we don't have that same equal rights. And yeah, so I, I, I agree with that. I think that it's, it's kind of uh, shady towards us a little bit more. Pierre, I wanna, I wanna come to you and propose that same, that same question. Do you feel that the LGBTQ plus community gets pushed more than the black agenda? First of all, it's more than just black people that can be gay. You know, you know black people are gonna be black people. You know, but but you got gays can be can be white, black, Asian, whatever. It's going to be a bigger pool at the end of the day. Worldwide, it's going to be more gays and all that probably than black people. So they are getting their rights now. And I think that we should be proud to say that we fought for so many things to give them a chance to get their stuff, too. 
Let me ask you this, Pierre. A lot of people say that the LGBTQ plus agenda is the same as the black agenda. A lot of people kind of feel like they, they are essentially one because like you said, there are black people that are in that community. So they kind of merged it into one. Do you personally feel that that is the same agenda that we're pushing for? Well, we, first of all, we're pushing for not to be discriminated, okay? One could be color, one could be sexual pre preference. It's still about discrimination of something. So in that pool, yes. But now, a black man can be discriminated as you see him walking down the street. You can't tell if a person's gay or not unless they were real. They can hide their gayness. So there's a different level of that. But at the end of the day, both of us are trying to get proven from discrimination. Like, we're tired of being discriminated. So I can put that together. But sure, a black person can be first seen, hey, you're gay. I mean, you're black. I might not want you in my neighborhood. I don't want to hire you. A gay person can hide behind that. But I'm not going to use that and say, well, you know, you know we, we, we got it tougher than them. Man, you got to want to come together. Whenever you're fighting for something against a, ma a major power and we're all fighting for the same thing, join in before we, uh, you know, make a, you know, separate ourselves and fight against each other. Right. Rita, I want to I come to you and propose the same thing to you. Between the two agendas, do you feel that they are one or that they should be separated and, and fought for separately? I think there are similarities in both movements. Um, but, you know, it can be a little uncomfortable to compare gay rights and black rights when you think about black people having gone through slavery and being denied the right to vote. Um, but I will say that the gay community is very progressive because, as Pierre said, there are white folks in the movement who can get things done at a faster rate than we can as black people. So I'm with Pierre. We need to see what they're doing and, and try to get some of the benefits. Um, but I can understand how people feel like the you know gay rights are moving faster. You know the the ban just got removed again for uh, transgender people to be in the military. Now there are rights for transgender people to participate in sports. Uh, you know against girls and boys. So I get why people don't are uncomfortable with the comparisons. Um, so I don't think they are the same because we have not had the same struggles, but it's still been a struggle. I hate to compare injustices at all because that just seems crazy. It's like no, I'm. I'm I'm more oppressed than you. No, I'm more oppressed than you. I don't think we should be doing that. I think we should be focusing on the progress. But the idea that celebrities are pushing a gay agenda, and it's funny to me when they say, oh, you shoving the gay agenda down our throats. Well, you know, well, heterosexuals shove things down their throats too. But Whoa, this, idea, hey. uh, this idea that celebrities are pushing a gay agenda, I don't see that. The Black Lives Matter movement is up for uh, a Nobel Peace Prize. When I saw the marching in the street, they were doing that for George Floyd. So I think people will pick and choose a couple things and then say, oh, you're pushing the gay agenda when you see one gay cartoon. I think there's a lot of support for both movements. But I do think the gay movement is more progressive because there are white people in it. I think there are some people that feel like there are some similarities. But I think the issue comes in like when you do speak out against the LGBTQ plus community, you get canceled faster or harder than when you speak against, you know, the black agenda. I, I totally understand that. I mean, just recently, Michael Che made a transgender joke on Saturday Night Live and they're ready to cancel him. But there is um, a push for more accountability now. You know, there are folks being removed from their positions for discrimination against black people in higher executive positions. Um, I think the accountability is growing for us. I wish it, it, had, it had been done a long time ago. Um, you know, but it's happening slowly but surely. But I mean, it is unfortunate that it seems like you can get canceled easier for saying something against a gay person than you can a black person. But just personally speaking, I experience more oppression and issues being a black woman than I do a gay woman.